Welcome, and here we are continuing this week talking about the Greeks, you know, um, the ancestors of Western civilization. We talked about the classical age. I really didn't do it justice. We really don't have enough time, but please look at your PowerPoints, read my notes, and you will get a better picture. But, you know, geometric, orientalizing, archaic, and classic, which we talked about, the Parthenon, the wonderful naked men and the sculptures. And now, what happens? Well, the um, Athens takes a, a nosedive. You know, they have a war with Sparta. Remember 300, the movie? Like this warrior, the warrior neighbors. They were like, why does all the money go to Athens? Why are those people, they're poets, they're like, you know, whatever. You need to be strong. You need to be resilient. So they, they have a fight, an internal fight for resources among uh, Athens and Sparta. And so we get into the next age, the next age. So the classic sort of late classic, it keeps going on and on. So uh, Athens is done for, okay? The city states are fighting against each other. And Philip of Macedonia, to the north of Greece, invades Greece. And so, you know, um, things change. Things change. And basically, um, we have other influences on Greek art. And, uh, and little by little, until we have a growth. Egyptian models are sort of taken all over the Mediterranean thanks to Alexander, Sikander, Alexander the Great, he takes the culture of Greece all over the place. And that, after the death of Alexander, we call the period until the beginning of Rome, Hellenistic. Because it's a period when Greek culture has already left, okay, the Peloponnese, it spread to Turkey. Well, it was, it comes from Turkey, remember? Uh, Troy and whatnot. It, but it spreads all over many other areas. And you have a new, you know, a new sort of appreciation um, in this Hellenistic period or the age of Alexander. And, um, you know, uh, the empire after Alexander dies, this Hellenistic era, the empire of Alexander the Great is divided into three areas. The Romans took over the Mediterranean, Ptolemy took over Egypt, okay? And the Seleucid people took over the Middle East. So again, the Greek influence went to Rome, the Greek influence went to Egypt, the Greek influence went to the Near East. And when Alexander dies, Sikander, different groups take over their areas. And that's the end of Hellenic, of, 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 you know, of the classic Greek culture. But now it becomes sort of like everybody's culture. You know, everybody, um, everybody's culture. And you know, you have, um, you have a common vocabulary. You have academies. Nice music right there. We got some really noisy neighbors, but it's, it's good stuff. Um, we also have, um, you know, uh, theater. Theater was big with the Greeks, so it spreads to all this area. Um, city planning, you know, city planning comes with it. Uh, a, a lot of things happen uh, to spread Greek culture. And, um, and anyway, uh, we are going to, uh, we're going to end. This is a short chapter before we go into the, uh, the next, which is not the Romans, but the Etruscans that come before the Romans. But in the few minutes I have, how much time do I have, Frank? Three minutes, maybe, to ten? Yeah, four. Four minutes. I just, again, what do we have from Greece? Well, from Greece we have, listen, the culture of the gym. You know, our bodies, I gotta go to the gym, you know, I gotta look tone and sculpt. That comes from the Greeks, you know, the whole emphasis of theater in Western culture. Oh, Broadway, let's go to the theater. Maybe it's changed a lot. It's not as mysterious. It's not as sacred, but there's like an emphasis of theater. That comes from the Greek. Philosophy, democracy, you know, and again, a sense of proportion of what's classic of what's beautiful. So with the Greeks, we have the addition of beauty to truth, okay? We have truth and beauty, and that we owe to the Greeks. Remember, the sculptures were painted 
Remember the temples have different styles. Remember the Parthenon is the greatest achievement of a temple and that it used to have a female sculpture inside, the sculpture of Athena. And, um, and look into the different sculptures, look into the different, the different periods of Greek art from the geometric to Hellenistic when you study. Thank you very much. Next.